Josephology is the theological study of Saint Joseph, the husband of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Records of devotions to Joseph go back to the year 800 and doctors of the Church since Saint Thomas Aquinas have written on the subject. With the growth of Mariology, the theological study of Joseph also grew and in the 1950s specific centers for it were formed. The modern study of the theology concerning Joseph is one of the newest theological disciplines. History and background <laughs> Early period Saint Jerome's Against Helvidius c. 383 paved the way for aspects of future Josephite devotion with his assertion that Joseph was always a virgin. The earliest record of a formal devotional following for Saint Joseph in the Western Church is in the abridged Martyrology of Rhinau in northern France, which dates to the year 800. References to Joseph as Nutritor Domini, educator, guardian of the Lord, from the 9th to the 14th centuries continued to increase as Mariology developed, and by the 12th century, along with greater devotion to Mary, the writings of the Benedictine monks began to foster a following for Joseph and they inserted his name in their liturgical calendars and their martyrology. In the 13th century, the Dominican doctor of the Church Thomas Aquinas discussed the necessity of the presence of Saint Joseph in the plan of the Incarnation for if Mary had not been married, her fellow Jews would have stoned her to death and that a young Jesus needed the care and protection of a human father. The Josephology of Aquinas often proceeded with the juxtaposition of Joseph and Mary. In the 15th century, major steps were taken by Saint Bernardine of Siena, Pierre d'Ailly, and Jean Gerson, the Chancellor of the Cathedral of Notre Dame, Paris. Gerson wrote a lengthy treatise in French titled Consideration sur Saint Joseph and a 120 verse poem in Latin about Saint Joseph. In 1416–1418, Gerson preached sermons on St. Joseph at the Council of Constance in which he borrowed heavily from Marian themes. Sixteenth–nineteenth centuries The growth of the following of Joseph is manifested with the earliest church dedicated to him in Rome, San Giuseppe dei Filegnami Street. Joseph of the Carpenters, constructed in 1540 in the Forum Romanum, above the prison that by tradition had held St. Peter and St. Paul. The spread of his following is then shown by the publication of the First Litany of St. Joseph in Rome in 1597 and the introduction of the Court of St. Joseph in Antwerp in 1657. These were then followed by the Chaplet of St. Joseph in 1850, and the Scapular of St. Joseph of the Capuchins which was approved in 1880. The formal veneration of the Holy Family began in the 17th century by M. G. R. François de Laval. From the 16th century onwards, a number of Catholic saints prayed to Saint Joseph, invoked his help and protection and encouraged others to do so. In introduction to the devout life Saint Francis de Sales included Joseph along with the Virgin Mary as saints to be invoked during prayers following an examination of conscience. Saint Teresa of Avila attributed her recovery of health to Joseph and recommended him as an advocate. In her biography The Story of a Soul, Saint Therese of Lisia stated that for a period of time, she prayed every day to Saint Joseph, father and protector of virgins, and felt safe from danger as a result. The three saints mentioned in this paragraph were all doctors of the Church. In 1870, Pope Pius IX proclaimed Saint Joseph patron of the Universal Church. Joseph is also the unofficially patron of fighting communism. In 1889, Pope Leo XIII issued the encyclical Quamquam Pluris in which he urged Catholics to pray to Joseph as patron of the Church. This was in view of challenges facing the Church, such as the growing depravity of morals in the young generation. He prescribed that every October, a prayer to Saint Joseph be added to the Rosary, with attached indulgences. Modern development With the growth of Mariology, the theological study of Joseph also began to grow to discuss his role in the economy of salvation. 
Three centers for Josephology were formed in the 1950s, the first in Valladolid, Spain, the second at St. Joseph's Oratory in Montreal, and the third in the Theologate of Viterbo, Italy. During the centenary of Quamquam Pluris in 1989, Pope John Paul II delivered the apostolic exhortation Redemptoris Custos, Guardian of the Redeemer. This exhortation is part of the Redemption Documents issued by the Pope, and refers to the Marian encyclical Redemptoris Mater. It discusses the importance of St. Joseph in the Holy Family, and presents the Pope's view of St. Joseph's role in the plan of redemption. John Paul II positions St. Joseph as breaking the old vice of paternal familial domination, and suggests him as the model of a loving father. See also Mariology Roman Catholic Mariology List of churches named after St. Joseph St. Joseph's Oratory, largest church in Canada List of places named after St. Joseph